Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. What is up guys? So, today I thought I'm gonna take a look back in uh, I don't know, look at uh, the riverfront race. Um, I did just one class and it was just two races. Um, I apologize in advance this first one. Uh, you can't see much because the GoPro got a lot of dirt on it off the start because uh, newsflash, uh, I suck at starts. <laughs> but um, I'm going to try not to be too hard on myself. It's been a while since I've watched the footage. And so, it's going to be okay. We're going to be fine. Um, so see, off here I got a good jump. Um, but just, I don't know. I just need to work on starts. It's so foreign to me. I had the start device and everything, and still it was like, it's just weird. So I got to learn to put the power down. Um, as you can see here too, this guy... <laughs> a little close. Uh, it looks it looks way farther away than on GoPro, but like I swear I was gonna touch his back fender with my front fender. Um, also, your boy um, was like, oh, you know, it's the sun's in my face because you know it's at the worst spot possible. So let's put on some some clear lenses. <laughs> so I'm just tiptoeing like right here and in that corner before because like I just couldn't see Jack. Um, but it's okay, but, um, yeah, this is, like, my second, I guess you could call it my second race, um, because I don't really, I don't really ever race, I did a couple times on 80s, but, um, but yeah, it was super fun, I mean, every time I go, I learn a lot, so, I kind of regret not going sooner, but, um, but yeah, I have a good time doing it, so, um, I just I figured too the voiceover guys I'll I'll just talk and it, it'll be more interesting than just watching the video without context on anything. Um, right here I'm kind of back, not with um, like sketchy guys, but I, I'm like watching them and they're like over jumping stuff and just oh there's my buddy <laughs> Baker. Um, he went down and then we had a good battle in the second one. Stay tuned for that guys. Well it wasn't it wasn't really a battle we just. It's just funny, we always end up on the same spot of the track. <laughs> it's just like, it's just funny to watch. We're both like back of the pack starters, and then, um, and then we're just always, and I don't know, I just want to be in the same class. But, um, yeah, in this one, it's, I, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself, but like every time I watch Moto 1 and 2, it's like, I'm just looking and I'm like, why did I take that line? And like, God, I'm so slow right there, you know? Like, I'm, I'm usually pretty hard on myself, but, um, yeah, this first moto I got, um, I believe second in my class, and then, or third, and then the second moto I went, um, fifth, so I got 3.5, and it was good enough for a third, so, that's pretty cool. It was, um, like, big bike, intermediate novice and so there's 450s or 250s or whatever you want in there um, but yeah it was a good class for me because I could definitely um, I don't know work my way up and a little bit and hopefully I podium again um, so yeah I don't know it's just a good good time overall um, happy I got a third even so it was like my first, um, I guess, trophy you'd, say, you'd call it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of fun. I am bummed on the second moto. That's the one where I hit my head, and uh, like after I hit my head, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna take it easy. So I let Baker back by me, and uh, yeah, um, you guys will see that. I'll I'll talk through that too. But right here, I'm just struggling because I can't see Jack <laughs> like at all. So. But it's still good though, I felt good I, definitely in this first moto, and you know, Riverfront is such like an easy track, um, I feel like it's kind of hard even if you're better than somebody, like, uh, it's like, it's really hard to just find, like, pick up time on people, uh, right there that rut was pretty good, I was hitting that fast, right here that was a good line, I should have taken that, 
more second mount as you as you'll see but uh, yeah it felt good and I just need to work on the start that's where I suffer the most for sure <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I don't know. It was, uh, I'm looking, I always look back at the footage and I'm like, oh, it looks so slow, but, um, it's, it's whatever. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm just taking it as a learning experience. It's better than not going at all. So, um, but yeah, the track was fun too. That was a good part. They didn't water it a second time. And so it was really nice. So it's, oh, excuse me. That's one thing I was, worried about was like because all the jump faces are pretty um, like hard packed and everything and um, I was worried that they're gonna water like right before my race but they didn't so it was all good um, I feel good on the 250 it's definitely a change from the from the old old red I guess as you'd call her um, but yeah I don't know it was I feel good on the 250 I just gotta get more used to it I think I had a one ride back on it um, and then we switched or I didn't even have a ride back on it or no I did I went to E Street um, and so so yeah I felt pretty good but um, I just I, like I said I got a couple things to work on oh thank you that's a spot <laughs> and um, and yeah I don't know I just got I just, every time I watch the GoPro video back, every time I go ride, like, I'll improve, so I'm pretty happy with how I did. I definitely see spots where I'm like, damn, that line was rough and a little bit slower. Like, if I went outside of it, it was, like, wide open or, um, you know, it's always so much clearer when you're not actually um, in the race riding. But as you can see here, I'm like, tiptoeing like where's a rut and then I find it <laughs> once the glare is off because I don't know I don't know what I was thinking I was like I'm not gonna use a sun lens even though it's like at the worst spot possible like right here I'm just like tiptoeing but I still had a lot of fun um so yeah a little scrubbing <sighs> yeah sorry guys I'm tired uh, it's late right now, so I apologize, but uh, if you guys are coming out to all the rep racing, like the night series, I think the next one is next month. It's like the the 6th or something of uh, July. Um, definitely come out. I'll bring stickers, and um, if you see me, say hi, because it was super sweet. I saw... Um, Oh, I'm blinking. I never got his name, but he came to the Works Connection Pulp Show, too. I didn't, I didn't even talk to him there, but I saw him. Uh, his name is Two Stroke Films on YouTube, and he's, like, always in our live streams and stuff, and he, I don't know, he looked to be, like, 13 or so, I guess, around there. But, um, super funny kid, and he had a couple friends that were with him. I think, shout out, uh, I think, uh Skyler Belcher. Too. He was at uh, Work Connection, the Pulp Show, um, when Hangtown was going, and so that was pretty cool. Um, it's always funny, like, like it's just it feels weird, like when um, people like hit me up, like, hey, I'm gonna be here, and then they say they like the videos. It's it's a trip because I feel like still our YouTube channel is so small, um, but I think you know this is going the right direction, like, because I can actually get out there and meet uh, a couple of like the people that watch our videos and it's I don't know I have a good time doing it it's better than just sitting down and recording and then reading comments you know it's like hard to tell like how many people you know you see the views and the comments but that doesn't like you know you're like oh this one got 10,000 or whatever and it's it, you feel pretty like uh, like detached from it like it doesn't really you don't really realize it until um, you're out in real life and somebody's like oh it's Brock you know or whatever it's kind of it's super cool so getting sidetracked this is the second moto as you can tell it's dark now um, yes I'm number 100 next to a 100 on the start gate um, but yeah right here I was hoping I held it w a little bit wider the throttle more open off the start and I like 
I don't know, I just tried to get it, but I popped a little wheelie and then let off a little bit and it was just over. So, um, definitely, this, well, this is like my fourth start ever, you know. So I don't expect to be good. But yeah, the GoPro survived somehow. I got a face full of dirt. Uh, I had to pull tear off both times in the first corner. Then this guy wads up. Hopefully he's all good. Um, but yeah, it's a little hectic, but this time I just came. I tried to come out swinging more because I knew more what to expect. And I think you know I got second or third in the first one, so I was like, "Oh, then this guy, God dang it, slow me up, man." Um, <laughs> you know. um, but yeah, I just I once I saw that I got like third or whatever. Oh, sketch. Um, I was like more like confident, I think I had more confidence coming into this one. And you know, right here I'm like kind of mid-pack and I'm like, why am I back here with these guys? Like not well, not to discredit anybody, but like, you know, I just feel like I should be up farther. Uh, like probably like six, seven spots up farther. You know, just be up in the top at least five off the start. Um, I think then I'd be able to put my head down instead of just trying to take different lines and dodge and weave people off that first half a lap that's that's like the most deadly part I don't realize it but I'm like damn I probably lost like you know three seconds or so just um just being back there and then I don't, I don't know why I switched this up guys <laughs> outside every lap it was, it's because it was no rut and see I gained time on this guy so I thought it was quick but looking back I'm not sure how quick it was <laughs> um it's okay though. Um, definitely learned a lot from this one. Um, definitely bonked my noggin, and I haven't been riding for this was like three weeks ago. So this actually tomorrow I'm going to Riverfront. Uh, this will be up when the day that I'm, or the, I guess tomorrow, which I'm recording on a Thursday. This will be up tomorrow. Uh, and so if you guys go on to Riverfront Saturday, I'll be there. Uh, I'll definitely say that in the live stream tonight too. I'm excited. Um, and as you can see, or maybe not, it's my buddy Baker up front. Like we always like, I don't know. I have a good time racing with him. He's always. I mean, sometimes we have our wild moments <laughs> where we get, get a little sketchy, but that's okay. That's racing. Just racing at night. You can't be perfect. Right here, I freaking. Almost slid out and put my foot down. Had the neck whip. Got the goon look action going. Oh god, it's too much fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I don't know. I have a, I have a good time. Uh, I always look back at the footage. I'm like super hard on myself, and then I just realize like, is that, I'm out there riding my dirt bike, you know? Like, what do I expect? Second race to come out, just swing in, and, like, you know. I don't even just get good starts, even though I've never practiced starts in my life, and some of these guys have been doing starts since they were like five, <laughs> you know. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just had a good time. It was different at racing at night because I've never even ridden at night. Like I've ridden mini bikes at night. That's a little different. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I just had a good time and. I don't know why I'm summing it up, so I just had, I had a good time, I had a good time, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, just a couple things I need to work on. I'm definitely going to work on, like, line choice and corners. I think when I go to, like, practice days and, like, private days and stuff, I'm always, like, just, I find a line and I just kind of stick with it because, you know, like, why change it if it's good? But, oh, I got to... I'm wiping the GoPro, <laughs> conscious of you guys out there, looking out. Um, I just need to work on just different line choice, and I, don't know, I feel like I'm pretty smooth, and I was just riding relaxed, like in my limits. Um, but I think I just need something to turn, like, switch on to where, you know, I, I practice some more starts, and then I just, you know, I can just get out front and just go. Um, I feel a lot better about just my riding in general if I if I could just do that. Um, so yeah, it was it's just all a learning experience. I'm not I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because I always am. Uh, 
but like I felt good and then this this is the lap where I lean in and tag that pole. Um, my dad's buddy actually sent a picture, there's a chunk of the pole taken out. Um, you know, whether that was from me or some other guy, I don't know, but I definitely rang my bell. And it's on my Instagram too. Um, just at Brock underscore Phipps, B R O C underscore P H I P P S. Um, if you guys want to watch it there. But yeah, I was like, like right here, I was feeling it, I was feeling good. I'm like, okay, let's finish strong. And then just. God. This sucked. And then my, I hit my head and my my ears were just ringing so loud because A, it was like super loud in the helmet, like the actual like smack. And then, yeah, it was just like, it hit my head super hard, so my ears were ringing. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, this threw me off my mojo. And then right here, I'm just thinking like, ow, my, my head hurts. <laughs> you know, I just felt like I kind of had a headache right here. I'm like, this isn't good. And so, like, I just, I put on cruise control, and I'm like, okay, just finish, and be smooth, because I only had a lap to go right here. And then, of course, Baker, he's like, okay, battle's on. <laughs> and I bang my dome. Um, I was making a joke, because he's like, oh, I think he's, he's probably like five, six or so, somewhere in that range, or maybe even shorter, I don't know, he's not a tall guy but like <laughs> I was joking that he's like I hit my shoulder and I'm like dude I hit my head because I'm like six inches taller <laughs> and so it was, it was funny it was weird too like you'd think that that pole would be more off the track or there'd be like a hay bale or something I think Zeb um, from Rep Racing is gonna gonna change that up a little bit definitely put like at least force markers or a couple hay bales so you just can't even get a line that close to the the pole but you know only you know he had no idea until you know I smacked my dome on it so it's not his fault um, obviously but yeah it's just kind of unfortunate I took it easy for like a week and a half after that um, and it's been almost yeah three weeks now and so everything's a bit back to normal. I don't really get the headache. I. Oh, there we go. Um. Right here, we're stoked. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, I switched my diet up a little bit. I'm trying to eat a little healthier. And I'm like doing the gluten free thing. And I'm just trying to. Not like. Do, like I kind of hit the reset switch like when I, when I hit my head I had a lot of time to sit down and think and um, so I was just trying to eat a little better and get out on the mountain bike more and uh, just kind of do do that kind of stuff so uh, thank you guys so much for watching if if you watch this whole thing um, I appreciate that next time maybe I could have Alex sit in on it and we can kind of both, you know, so you can have some input because it's always interesting to have another person's input because I, I see things like super one-sided, especially if I'm like, you know, excited about how I did or disappointed, you know, it's like, um, it's just hard to, hard to be, have two perspectives from one person, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, uh, what are you guys' thoughts on this, this new logo? Um, it's not like new new. I've had it on the back burner for a little bit, but I think it's sick. Um, just that, that that moto grip on the joystick. Like I don't know. I thought it was super sick. So um, we'll probably do stickers of these. We're working on another couple stickers, so we'll definitely update the Instagram. It's in the description if you want. It's at sim simbros. I think it's underscore. You check the description. It's got the link straight to it. So. Um, thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. If you have anything to critique about the format of this, I know there was not a lot of editing, but you know there didn't need to be. I was just I was just voicing over the the motos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate every one of you that subscribes and comments and likes the videos. It's awesome. 
and uh, see you guys in the next one. Thank you.